Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Hellion. Uh, yes, it has been a few days since I've had an episode up. It's been pretty hot and just haven't been up for recording. Uh, even though it's been a few days since I've been even played the game, I still got that plating stuck in my fab fabricator unit here. But that's okay, one of these days will glitch out. Uh, but yeah, got the station up to proper power levels. I have the whole station running off of solar right now. The power supply is turned off. Uh, there are still a few modules that don't actually have power right now. That's one is the airlock, one is the power supply module. Uh, I turn the air generators off because we have enough in the tank. We don't need to actually generate air, so may as well save that. Uh, we'll just go over here quickly and do the power check. But today, uh, since it has been almost a week since I've been online, I should have a whole bunch of fresh new spawns out there. Now we're going to scope up some derelicts, look for some circuits, and maybe pick up another power supply or solar panel module. Because I still want to get one on the other side of power supply. Yes. And that way I, we can have enough room to get an eight Argus in here. But as you can see, we are plus 50. The power supply is actually turned off. We're all on solar. Uh, we've got the air generators on both the life support module and the outpost turned off so that's saving us the power but other than that everything that I need is up and running and we're saving helium so I want to go and do some exploring uh, I got uh, a full gun I'm actually going to grab this jetpack because it's going to be charged now and I want to go out I want to be looking mainly for circuits uh, my goal for today or hopefully today is to get a get a new start uh, singularity detonator so we can travel to the next planet uh, which is going to be Aerodel because Aerodel is where we're going to find a find a mule yeah it's still a little dark in here I might actually turn the solar panel modules off too just it's about the only way you can color the inside of your station right now it's not that oh I almost hit the wrong button there it's not that it's dark like there is light in here but it gives a sort of a black look to it instead of this tan so it gives you some coloring options I know they have talked about getting you know proper ship customizations like actually being able to color whatever sh the ship whatever you want but yeah so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get everything pressurized I cleared off the shelves too so I'll be back in a sec okay uh, another thing about getting that, that uh, higher tier detonator is uh, it's going to be, as far as I know, a lot cheaper on warp cells. So all these low percentage ones I might actually be able to get rid of. Uh, we should be able to get somewhere on this 8%. Uh, I'm thinking about thinking about going to Everest today, but I'd like to stop at Broken Marble at the same time and try to get, uh, uh, yeah, another solar panel. If I can get pick up a couple of catalysts out at Everest, that'd be great, because I think that's where we'd find them. Alright, let's get up and out of the way. And check the old nav map. Find out where we're going to go today. Uh, let's see. Where is Everest? Everest is out there. See, I really don't want to be looking for derelicts while I have a module in tow. Well, let's go to Broken Marble. Broken Marble is going to be... Oh no, let's go straight to Everest. Never mind. Uh, broken Marble would be where we go to get the solar panel. And I think we'll take a tight orbit this time. Uh, even though... I think most of the modules are going to be the inside. Let's actually go outside. No, we got to be inside because it's Sphere of Influence is... Uh, right at the edge of the... Call it the field okay there's a ship there so we'll go right there and go warp and see what we can get here see it's not too bad just because i only have one module all right where is it okay so oh into the blinding sun all right i shall meet you there Alright, let's see what we can find. I actually thought we were inside inside the field. Well, we are sort of. Let's see what we can find. It's actually been quite a while since I've been here, so everything here should be absolute fresh spawns. Of course, we're all on the outside. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
Another fabricator. Don't really need a fabricator or a cargo bay. Hmm. I've always thought about doubling up the cargo bays. Uh, let's see what else can find here. These are all old spawns. 23rd. Yeah, these are all gonna be going pretty quick here. This is it's actually the 28th for me. So I don't think this is going to be anything useful. 22nd. Ooh, that's an old one. Yeah, because usually these are in pretty bad shape to begin with. So, from my experiences already, uh, more than likely I'm going to have a, a bit of a game issue that prevents me from doing things. <laughs> and then I'll reload it and I'll have all fresh spawns. Let's go over to uh, Broken Marble. Let's see what we got over here. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll... Give me a moment. I'll be there when we get there. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Uh, one thing I'm actually thinking about is just doing a manual exit. Reload. See what happens. Yeah, these are all old too. Some of these are really old. Hmm. I'm going to try something. Okay, well, I didn't... Uh, I actually just uh, tried going back to the main menu, log back in, and yes, it is still all the same derelicts around here. So I'm gonna sort of do a little bit of AFK, do some drifting, catching some rays, and wait to see what happens. Uh, I was thinking about this, about these warp cells. You know, I might not have to really worry about using these up because if I recycle these, I get six carbon and, or six fiber and six plating out of it, or alloys. So if I take 10 warp cells at 6%, 7%, 10 warp cells, 6%, 7%, that gives, recycled, gives me enough materials for another warp cell, plus the helium I gotta add, which is 50, which, to be quite honest, isn't that bad. We could take the cargo bay for a helium run one day, find a nice spot of regular since I got the scanner right there, and I can just mine for days and fill the hold. Maybe even find four of those IC containers, stick them onto the cargo bay. Have one full of dry ice, one full of nitrates, one full of helium, one full of uh, regolith, and what was the other one? Uh, I think I need ice. Ice and heavy ice or dry ice. I think I'm not too sure. But anyways, uh, I've been rambling for a minute or two here. Let's do another scan, see if anything comes up. Because I'm sure most of these derelicts are going to pop in the next 10 minutes or so. So if I just hover around, I might see something show up. So I'm going to do that. I'll see you in about two seconds. All right, I waited about waited about 10 minutes around there. I tried another scan. I didn't find anything, but I came out here to Everest, and we have our first 28s. So these are fresh spawns, so I don't need to worry about these ones blowing up in my face. Not that it really matters. Uh, this cell is still holding up. I'm actually quite surprised. I know that just enough to get there too. All right, let's see what we can find here. So I'm looking for catalysts and circuits, especially circuits. Because the sooner I get circuits, the sooner I start finding better stuff. Uh, if I can make myself, let's say, a tier 3 or tier 4 detonator, get out to Aerodil and happen to find a tier 2 or tier 3 detonator, more than likely I'll be able to recycle that and at least get one or two circuits out of it if it comes, if it comes down to it. Uh, again, I don't really know what the recycling rate is. Like, you'd think it'd be 50%, but it's looking, as far as the warp cells go, it looks like it's more like 10%. So... Unless you use 10 circuits for it, you won't get anything back. I don't know. I just know that the small little minuscule things like the Tesla ball, and the, well, I think the basketball hoop, you can actually get something out of that, but you don't get nothing out of the Tesla ball. You don't get anything out of cups. I'm actually starting to wonder about the coffee machine, if it's even going to be worth it. Because I know you can find quite a few of those. And I swear to God, I just saw a large chunk of debris fly right towards me as I was coming out of work. Speaking of debris, we should actually be leaving the field pretty quick here. 
Uh, he's paying attention to the orbit, and we're not doing too bad. So which one is closer? Oh, slow down, slow down, and match. Match, please. Uh, let's actually see where we are in the, the field. Oh, really? Oh, I thought we were on this orbit here. Oh, this will be fun. Oop. Okay, we're still matched. Let's get out and do a quick F5 first. Do I have any stim packs on me? I have one. All right. Take the chance. Oh, helmet down. Uh, close the door. And pressurize. Or depressurize. And then hopefully don't get smoked by these so-called ships floating by at 60 meters a second. It doesn't sound like much, but that's actually a fair, fair speed. And since they are using Newt Newtonian physics, I'm pretty sure uh, mass and inertia is added to the equation. All right, let's go. I know we do have a little bit of time on them. I do have some inventory space, so let's try not to get killed on the way. Uh, turn the old light on, and see what we can find. I don't think I'm gonna be really too worried about these armatures. Uh, check the supply. I've got about I've got about 120 of each. I can only sacrifice some warp cells too if I need to. And I'm sure we'll find a suit or two or 20 along the way. Uh, the Mark One suits, anyways. And nothing. Just this plating. I have checked the spawn rates on these things, and these are a lot lower of a spawn rate than, let's say, the carbon fibers or the plating. I'm not going to worry about the battery. I don't care about the battery. It's just these circuits I want. Oh, that was a, a complete waste. Now, where is that other one? Uh, down there. Ooh, that was a close one. It was like a, f like a train flying by. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, speaking of circuit, two of them, hey! Gotta love that zoom. Uh, just what I was looking for. Wait, take that. Go down here and grab this. And I think I still have two of them at the station, don't I? I think so. I think we're going to be making the detonator today. Uh, plating, armatures. Uh, makes me wonder if I ever catch any of this stuff like floating through the air. Maybe I would just reach around and find a circuit lodged in my back. Alright, what else we got? Anything good? Anything good? Anything worth worth it? Risking my life, I might as well get something. And. In we go. So here's a thought. What would you do in a situation like this? If, for whatever reason, let's say you were thrown into cryo cryostasis and you came out a couple hundred years in the future and you were in an interstellar colony and you, um, or a ruined interstellar colony, for instance, like Hellion. Oh, uh, yeah, another warp cell. Uh, what would you do? Do you think you could handle it? Would you be brave enough to go in these derelicts? Don't want to take a blow at any time. And here's the thing that really has me thinking. They haven't even introduced food or water yet. Uh, I don't know if they plan to. I'd imagine they would because they're trying to make this about as realistic as possible. And yeah, it'd be quite something. You know, having to get, get a heart hydroponics and water recycling and you know being able to supply enough power to keep everything going especially in, op, in an online atmosphere and I don't think I see anything else in here there's usually something on the floor there and there's nothing and nothing over there ah, we'll take the fire extinguisher why not safety first uh, what do we got in there? Nitrates. Ooh. 
on a wide angle there. I don't care. It's free loot. Free loot. All right. Let's get back to the ship. All right. Let me get inside. I think we'll go check out those other 28. So maybe we'll be lucky and something else has spawned. Well, the only time anything new spawns is when something blows up. Which would be nice to have torpedoes on this thing. Oh, I got a hull breach. Good thing I got a full welding tool. All right. I'll meet you at the next one. Okay, we're at the next ones here. I had a couple of really close calls waiting for this warp. I had one come within about 160 meters, Pat. To me, I was traveling a good 55 meters a second. I'm watching the, 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 the distance counters like just start speeding, dropping down to zero so fast. I started panicking, but we're okay. Uh, this is ship's okay for now. Anyways, let's get in, helmet down, close the door, and pressurize, because we're in the field again. Do, 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 do. I couldn't imagine this game in a VR. That would be absolutely amazing. Makes me wonder how many people would actually, uh, I guess you'd call it motion sickness, uh, where it's got to do with your the equilibrium where your visually your brain is seeing that you're upside down but you know, your equilibrium is telling you that you're right side up and you start getting dizzy and confused because of it all right let's check this uh, big one first here and again i'm gonna check the outsides first i did clear up a little bit of space pick the clean oh i see a circuit i see a circuit that's why it's always good to have a, a really good monitor. Ooh, I just saw something blow up there. Yeah, a really big monitor. Doesn't need to be high res, like super high res. I do play at 1080, but it doesn't need to be like 4K or anything like that. It's just crazy. Uh, well, at least there's something in here. Alright, that's one side. Or two sides, three sides, whatever. Let's go take a look. See what else we got. Oh, upside down. Uh, I saw that ricochet. That was pretty cool. As long as it's not ricocheting off of me, that is. Okay, I don't see much. Now, which way is up? Of course, I'm upside down. I hate going to these things upside down. It's so disoriented. Well, so far, so good. I'm up to four circuits now. I'll take that resource injector. Thank you. Yeah, I remember when those things were so valuable. You couldn't do anything unless you had a resource injector. And I'll take free supplies. Why not? What else we got? Anything good? Ooh, a helmet. There's resources right there. Okay. That is that one. Let's go to this one before this blows up. And then head off to my ship before that blows up. Ooh, this is a long one. Alright. I don't really have the room for the armatures. I'm not really worried about them. I'm finding so many of them. This game has got to have, like, the best lighting I have ever seen. Sometimes it does bug out, I admit, but just, like, the shadows and the sun shafts and the blooms. And it's really amazing. Oh, look, another warp cell. Better grab that. I don't think I have enough of them. Is that a circuit? It is. It's a good thing I came down here. I wasn't even going to come down. And look what I find. And I think that actually puts me up to seven. That's including what I had back at the station. So maybe we can get ourselves a tier three. Because I think the tier three was only six circuits. Let's go in and grab our... Let's grab those warp cells. Why not? Just because it's there. Oh my god. Even 
back in the day, warp cells were so valuable too. You'd have a half a dozen and it'd be gone before you know it. Uh, do I have room for it? No, I don't, actually. I don't. Okay, forget it. I'll leave it. Don't care. I don't need batteries. Don't need nothing that's there. And I believe that is it. All right. So let me get back to the ship. Uh, do a, a supply count. Wherever I think it is, there it is. See what I got. Oh, I can see what I have. It looks like I took a chunk of debris right to the windshield. And I don't have any spare life support. No. Oh, well. I got a spare suit, so it's okay. Suit life for now. Anyway, let me fix up, and I'll meet you at the next destination. Alright, I'm out at Broken Marble now, and uh, I did have the issue where uh, my game failed to save, uh, which meant I have a fresh spawn here. Uh, yes, as you see, uh, 0.7. Uh, it's, we took, lost a bit of atmosphere in that, uh, that hull breach we had. Uh, I do have 0.7, which I think is just barely breathable, I think. I'm not sure. As long as the air quality is good, I think you can actually go down to like 0.4. Uh, I'm probably wrong about that. I know people have mentioned it before back in the days of uh, excessive resource usage. Alright, so let's see what we can find for circuits. I thought I had five of them on me, but it's actually four, and that was a very close call. Alright, let's see what we got here. Don't really need that. Ah will eventually but I have all these warp cells I can recycle so so it's not like that's gonna be an issue Let's see damn circuits armatures everywhere hmm well I do know I have enough to actually make a new debt make a, a higher tier detonator which I think we're gonna be doing pretty soon here that's that plating all right let's get right it up again and let's go in and see what we can find before we get hit by a big chunk of debris. Grab it. Thank you. Oh, I never even saw that before. I'll take the grenade anyways, just because. We'll go blow something up. Maybe we'll go take care of a, a rogue derelict one day. Just, uh, you know, improve spawn rates. Ooh, a hacking tool. Uh, we'll need that eventually. Or when we go and find a ship. Ooh, there's lots of stuff in here. Not that I need the ammo, but always nice to have stuff to recycle. Come on. Thank you. What else we got? Nothing there, nothing there. Pick that. I'm gonna check the drawers. If these ones opened. No, they didn't. Not those ones. Alright, what else we got? No fire extinguisher. Uh, ooh, might as well. I think we can get some parts for that. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? I think being able to build your own modules should be next. Go crazy and just start building corridors and solar panels like there's no tomorrow. Alright, enough of that. I'm going to head back to the ship, do a scan and see what's confined. Oh, look. Something hit my ship. That explains why it's so far away and it's traveling at a remarkable speed. Like, how fast is it going from that derelict? Uh, it's not too bad. Uh, something definitely hit it. Thank God this game has the auto stabilization. I think that's part of the S RCS units. I've seen that happen to derelict so many times, never to my own ship. Well, not this one. That's probably happened to the mule a few too many times. But anyways. Wow. She must have taken quite the hit. Oh, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse? Thank you. Give me that. Well, so much for the life support. I think I still have a spare suit on the ship itself. I know I have a spare jetpack on me. That's completely full. 
Uh, I don't think any of the resource containers I have in the locker actually have anything. All right, that's full. Yeah, must have taken something head on. I would have been mad if my shit blew up. That's why we have save files. Okay, the ship took quite the beating. I had to do quite a bit of repairs, including the solar panel. Uh, there's another spawn here, and I'm thinking I might take the chance on it. Do it hit up this one last derelict here, and then head back. I do have enough circuits, but I have no life support. I'm at point one bar right now. Yes, we are red alert. So I think, since I do have one more jetpack, I'm going to go check this one out and see what we can find. Maybe we can actually find another circuit or two. All right, I will see you there. Okay, here we are, still in the field. I do love this sound when you're warping when, with a really, really low atmosphere in the ship. It's so low, it's just like a deep rumble. Oh, this is a big derelict too. Now, I'm not sure, but I think we're just on the edge of the field, so it's, it shouldn't be too bad. I always like to make sure I'm actually properly stopped. Yes, I did swap my jetpack out. Well, at least the airlock's faster. It's faster than the station airlock now. <laughs> uh, uh, no, it's not exactly something to be joking about, but... Uh, there's been a few times back in the first season when I had the mule where I actually flew the, kept the mule unpressurized just for, you know, be able to go in and in and out easy and loot stuff, or at least the cargo bay. The cargo bay, I always did that. Alright, armatures, armatures, uh, what else we got? Hmm. Show me circuits. I'm sorry, fried electronics. Ooh, that was a close one. Uh, I am not seeing anything. Are they down here? Have we got anything? Uh, more plating. Go around the other side, uh, the dangerous side. And more plating. I know there's different types of things you can find that allow for recycling of circuits. I just don't know what they are. I will find them as I go along. Just like these fried electronics. And I had no idea what I was looking for. And I found them, and now I do. Oh, warp cell and a servo. You know, realistically, unless you're looking for like super high tier stuff, you don't ever have to make anything. Even the warp cells, with the exception of, oh, sure, it's just floating there, ask can be taken. Another rifle, sure, I have the room for it. Why not? We actually get some alloys out of that. I could use another stim pack. And please go where you're supposed to belong, unless you're trying to tell me something. Oh, more grenades, more ammo, and I forgot to clear out my ammo inventory. See what we can take here. No, good. I guess I managed to clear it out before the autosave. All right, anything else? Doesn't look like it. Let's see if we can slide through here. And that looks like about it. There's usually something down there, but there's not. And. Yeah, that's uh, the locker. I was like, wait a minute, what's that? I've never seen that before. But we have, just never at that angle. Alright. Well. I think I'm going to go... Go back to the ship. I'll do one more quick scan. And by the looks of the sparks, do some more repairs. And then maybe we'll just head back. Ah, home sweet home. So I am back. Uh, I didn't find too much else. I figured may as well just come back and consider it a good day. Uh, I do have some repairs I'm going to have to do after this episode here. 
Uh, things are a little looking a little dark. A little, I won't say dark, but a little, a little washed out. And I'm wondering if maybe I got hurt again somewhere. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Slamming at derelicts all the time, or maybe just breathing suit air for the past God knows how long. Oh, I thought this opened. I thought I opened it. I guess I didn't. Now, can I get this from in here? I think I can. Yes, I can. You are right there. Aha. Fixed. Alright. Let me through. Come on. Let me through. Uh, can I get a reset? Thank you. Alright. Let's go fabricate, shall we? Let's get this out of my hand. There was a spare one on the ship I was actually gonna uh, bring with me eventually and recycle. I was looking at the the rifle. We do get five and two. I left one on the ship just for just for turrets. We don't have to worry about anybody else. We are stranded and alone. And look, the plating's gone. Like I said, it was gonna clip out eventually. So let's do some recycling here. I brought some excessive warp cells with me just for the sake of it they're all like five and six percent I don't care I'm finding these things like like, uh, like there's no tomorrow basically uh, good thing I don't have to worry about recycling a brand new one because it'll light up like a Christmas tree all right let's do a few more of these and then we'll see what we have for circuits and see what kind of detonator I can build I'm going to try to go for the state to tier 3. If I can get a tier 4, even better. I don't actually know how many circuits I have right now. I never looked, but this makes 4 from this expedition. What else we got? Cup, I bought that just to clear space on the ship. Don't worry about that. And I do have some nitrates and dry ice, which I'm not worried about. But let's go ahead and recycle this. Okay, I put that in there, but we can't put the drill in. That's not right. And neither is my vision. That looks a little better. Okay, so what do we have for circuits? We have six circuits. Nice. Let's see what we can make here. Okay, we want a de cell detonator. Six for level three and eight for level four. Hmm. Or nine for level four. Well, since it's gonna be a while before we're heading out to Aya, anyways, even not that far, let's go ahead and make the level three. Grab the six circuits, drag them over, and craft. All right, get more warp for my cell. All right, what else can we do? Let's uh, let's go back over to the lifeboat. Go over here and empty out those these canisters, and maybe even refine a little bit. I gotta pressurize my ship too because I was down to 0.1 bar. <gasps> yeah, terrible, absolutely terrible. Okay, now here's a question: If I start building this station up bigger, and yes, I am gonna. I still haven't looked to see if they're available, but if the S modules are available, I'm gonna try to get a. Two, a a two level station going. Let's see if we can get something working out like that. Attach point, unload. Take that, swap that out, put you there, that. Hit attach point, unload, and we have some nitrates, we have some heavy ice. Let's uh, refine the nitrates, even though it's not going to give us much nitrogen. And then we go over to life support here. And life support. And go to the tug wherever you may be, and airlock room, okay, so door is closed, just want to make sure that, uh, that the pressure is different that way, I know the airlock door is actually closed, how's the power doing, eh, we're still holding up, we're still, we got half a K in the, in the reserves right now, Alright, that, uh, 
I never actually refined that. Oops. Now we'll drag the dry ice in there as well. Get that going, and let's go have a look at our new start detonator or singularity cell detonator. Oh, light was off. I was seeing that glow on the windows, thinking that my light was on. Fabricator. Okay, let's, let's see what we can do here. Let's see what we get. Oh, not there yet. I, I've always wondered wondered how long of a station you can build, like how many corridor sections you can have. Oh, the the color, the name is even in color too. Oh, so when you're looting, you can actually expands workshop options by fifty percent. Does that mean it uh, cuts the warp time down by fifty percent? It doesn't actually tell you anything about it. Let's see if it says anything here. No, it doesn't. By 50%. Well, let's go take the one other ship and see what that one says. I might have to undock just to see what we can do. Uh, let's go see if it's pressurized yet. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, airlock. Oh my god, so many doors. Alright, helmet on, please. Let's go here and. Close that. Empty that. I think that's slower. It seems slower, and I think it might be because I'm uh, still pressurizing the ship right now. I do have both life uh, life support systems on. That's the come on, get me down. Life support module and the outpost. But, oh my god, I think I need a resource injector for my jetpack. <laughs> I don't think that's actually possible. But, uh, let's see what we got here. Am I going to get a full bar? We do have enough air to fill it. Oh, we will. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, I think one of the main reasons why I'd want to get the mule is just to have a ship that I can get in, in and out of without having to go through an airlock. Just because we can actually dock it. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. Over here, I'll take this off too. Just because. Alright, let's see what this says. 20% for tier 1, 50% for a tier 3. Hmm. Interesting. It's even painted different too. That's that's cool. All right, and we don't get nothing out of that for recycling it. Hmm. I'll probably hang on to it for now. But this is what I want to check. That was a weird glitch. Okay, let's let's try a quick little warp here. What is around broken marble? What's this orbit here? Is that just a glitch in my bobber? Okay, anyways. Alright, let's go down to st stage two here. Okay, so 50 seconds and it's using. That's like 2%. Go here. Oh, it uses more power. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's definitely better. Well, that is good. Now we just gotta redock this thing. Okay, I want cargo bay anchor, please. Thank you. But I think I'm gonna call the this episode here. Uh, finally was able to get the, the detonator going a little bit better. Seems like motion blur is on for some reason. Don't know why. Yeah, anyways, uh, I'm going to call the episode here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Later.